Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 158, the Visa Waiver Improvement Act of 2015. This bipartisan legislation will help better secure the visa waiver program, which facilitates travel to the U.S. from 20 million visitors from 38 participating countries for both business and pleasure. While the program provides important security benefits through information sharing agreements between participating countries and significant economic benefits from tourism, the potential security vulnerabilities of this program have been a concern. I was a primary author of provisions in the implementing recommendations of the 9-11 Commission Act of 2007 that boasted the security of the visa waiver program by requiring the electronic system for travel authorization called ESSA. Through the ESSA program, visa waiver travelers are vetted prior to departure to the U.S. I applaud the Department of Homeland Security for its recent efforts to make further enhancements to the program. These improvements will do better to secure the visa waiver program, but Congress needs to do its part. That is why I'm pleased to support House Resolution 158 today. The bill was reported unanimously by voice vote from the Committee on Homeland Security earlier this year and additional security-related provisions were added on a bipartisan basis in recent days. H.R. 158 would strengthen passport requirements for visa waiver travelers, require visa waiver participants to report lost or stolen passports within 24 hours. Enhance information sharing requirements will also be in place for visa waiver countries. In addition to that, mandate that visa waiver countries screen arriving and departing non-citizens against Interpol databases. Mr. Chairman, this is a good bill. It's one that uh, time has come. Uh, I want to thank Ms. Miller for her diligence uh, on bringing it before our committee. I'd like to thank, again, Ms. Lofkin for her work on this effort, and I look forward to the passage of this bill. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen from